I started noticing that my hands felt a little funny and I had some bumps. When I went in 2020 to the orthopedist, he said I had something called Dupuytren's contracture and there's, the only cure for that is surgery. I'm a self-employed small business owner. I can't afford to have my hand out of commission for six weeks. Ms. Klein uh, was diagnosed with a Dupuytren's contracture, uh, which is basically a fibrotic condition of the hands. There's progressive um, fibrosis or basically scarring of the uh, tendons of the hand. It causes the hand to, to sort of uh, contract upon itself. I mean, it makes it very difficult for the patients to use their hands and it cause a lot of pain. As my hand got to about here and, you know, I couldn't, like, typing everything hurt all the time and harder to use and, you know, I can't flatten my hands. It was, um, I had to give up hand stance. Um, I do push-ups on my knuckles now. I really needed to do something about it because I was just having a lot of pain. I hadn't really dug in on social media before. I had listened to the doctors and done some Googling, but I hadn't dug in on social. And in Facebook, there's a group called DART, Dupuytren's Advocates for radiation therapy. And so I read all these things about people who were getting radiation in Germany and the UK, and it made a huge difference in sort of halting the progression of the disease. I called a lot of doctors. Nobody had heard of this procedure. I decided to skip the orthopedist and go straight to the radiation team. So I went in to see Dr. Nielsen, who had never done this before, but was totally interested and engaged. And so I sent him all of the backup information. I feel like he did even more research than I did, which I'm grateful for. He's like, look, I've never done this before. Nobody in the Mount Sinai system has done this before. The results of the studies look promising and the risk is pretty low. Decided to give it a shot. The radiation works by kind of uh, shutting down the, um, the cells that, that are producing a lot of the scar tissue. In her case, it actually sort of regressed and some of those areas got smaller. I am a very lucky person who not only has it stopped the progression as far as we know, but this is significantly better than my hand was before. Uh, and so we decided to do the left hand too. Fortunately for her, she's done really well and, and actually had a very nice response in both of the hands that we treated. You know, her pain is much better, her functionality in her hands is much better. Um, she's, she's working on trying to get a, a diagnosis in, in her feet as well, um, so I'll treat those. I would love to offer this to, to more patients in the future. I think it's something that could be really beneficial to patients. I'm really grateful that whatever advocating he needed to do to get somebody to do this was there. I'm not usually a you know, Google doctor kind of person, but finding a group of people who'd all had this experience at all was really, really helpful.